Hi, and welcome to Entrepreneur Confessions. I'm here today with Elizabeth Sapel at All City Candy. Thanks for joining me. Hey, Sarah. So let's jump right into our question. Um, you have a very colorful and fun store. Does that translate over to your culture? Um, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so um, I can talk culture all day, right? So that is um, probably my favorite subject of everything uh, in my entrepreneurial journey. So where do I begin? <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm a big believer that work environment is what will set me apart. Mm -hmm. Okay. We've all had those jobs where we just didn't want to get up and go in the morning. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, I just remember <clears throat> I had a job one time where I would go 20 minutes early and sit in my car and psych myself up to go in with a smile on my face. Yeah. <clears throat> um, there was just a lot of people there that were unhappy mm -hmm. and it was, was not a pleasant experience. And um, I wasn't in a position to change it, right? And most of my career opportunities, I was always in um, upper management. So I really felt I got the opportunity to set the tone of the culture in those positions. So it was rare that I had a, um, a job, all right, or a career, the career challenge of culture. But when I did, it changed who I was. And I felt um, when you're in a situation like that, you lose a little bit of your personality every day, mm -hmm. right? Just fighting that um, desire not to be there. Right? <clears throat> and when we think about it, we spend the majority of our work of our um, awake hours mm -hmm. working. Yeah. Right. And with our coworkers. So <clears throat> when I open <clears throat> this business, um, I went to my manager, who was a longtime friend of mine. <laughs> okay. And I know you're not supposed to work with friends, but um, we met at a job when I was 19 and we've been best friends since and I'm like, come do this with me. Let's have some fun. The first thing I said to her was, we are not going to work with anybody we don't like, right? So, um, and you can't help it. You can't, you don't always um, see when you hire somebody mm -hmm. whether they are going to be a culture fit or not. Sometimes that comes out later. But in general, you, I really am a big believer that I can teach any skill, right? Um, I can teach you how to ring a register. I can teach you things, right, and how to do a task. I cannot teach you to have a personality, <laughs> right, <laughs> or, or personality that fits with mine, mm -hmm. right? Um, so culture is really important to me. I, I, want, um, I want a group people that want to be here that are excited to be here and I mean if I'm gonna be here I want to be with pe people I like right I want to have a good time so part of our culture is um, so I first of all I kind of feel like our core value core values is mm -hmm. our personality so our mission I feel is our promise to our customers our vision is our promise to ourselves and our core values is our personalities <clears throat> So our number one core value is nice matters, mm -hmm. right? Because I feel it is important to be nice. Even when you're having a rough day, and we all have, we all have rough days, okay? Um, it doesn't give you permission not to be nice to somebody, right? If you need to be quiet and sit down and do your work by yourself, fine, but don't be mean. So um, I think it starts with that and how we treat each other, how we treat our coworkers, how we treat our customers, how we treat the vendors and the brokers. I think all that matters. Um, that's, I feel like that's the basis of business or at least our business and how we're doing things a little bit different. Um, my feeling is if you do things right, everything else will fall in place. Right? If you're only focused on the almighty dollar, and even though that's important to keep the lights mm -hmm. on and the doors open, and I get it, and, and bottom line is important, but if you're treating people bad along the way, 
uh, it's not going to work, right? It, people aren't going to come. Your staff's going to leave you. It takes <clears throat> um, everyone needs to be on the same page, and we have to be on the same page. We all have to want want to be here, mm -hmm. right? If you don't want to be here, then that's fine with me, right? I will help you find another job. I'll f help you find what's right for you. But when you come in, be re be here. Be a be a team player. I, I think that's where I talk about culture is. Um, um, let's work as a team. Mm -hmm. Let's build something great, and um, everything will fall in place as long as we're working as a team. I think those are powerful words. So everything will fall into place as long as you're working as a team. Um, nice matters. So really, you know, the the old rule, do unto others as you would want done unto you. So really running your business um, on kindness seems to be how you're focusing your culture. Yeah, I mean, we're talking candy, right? Mm -hmm. right? Um, it's rare that a customer comes in here unhappy, right? They walk in and they're instantly happy from the colors and stuff. And if we're as a team not happy or crappy and we treat them like that, they're gonna lose that joy of what we're trying to do here. And also our, our team, our team. Um, you know, nice matter. That's our number one core value. Um, we take, one of our core values is we take care of each other. And we do, you know, if somebody's not feeling good, somebody always steps in and takes them, you know, takes their place, go home, take care of that, go sit down. Um, there, there's so many things that we do right and it all is based on our core values. Well, thank you, Elizabeth, and thanks for joining us today on Entrepreneur Confessions. Thank you.